Hey, it's Rina. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be attempting to customize my first keyboard. And just to mention upfront, things do not go completely to plan. If you're new to my channel, I make videos on digital planning, journaling, accessories, and tutorials. So subscribe and hit the notification bell for more of this content. So the keyboard I'm going to be customizing is the Vissels V84 mechanical keyboard, which was sent to me a while ago, and I filmed this unboxing at the time. I've seen a fair bit of praise for this keyboard and it worked pretty well when I used it for digital journaling on my iPad. If you've seen my other videos, you probably already know how much I love Bluetooth keyboards. I use them in place of the Apple Pencil if I'm going to be writing out a chunk of text. This particular keyboard is nice and heavy and feels like a good quality build. I did a couple of typing tests using the website MonkeyType and it scored pretty well. I also really like the typing sound and I describe it as on the quiet side but satisfying. It matches with the Vissel's mouse, which is super quiet. Despite all these positive things, however, I haven't found myself reaching for this keyboard very often because I'm just not a huge fan of the black and white design. So usually one of my other keyboards end up catching my eye. So I bought two sets of keycaps from Amazon. This is the first one and this is the other one. It's from Red Dragon and look how pretty these look. Here are my tools and um, this is the first time I'm customizing a keyboard so if it looks like I don't know what I'm doing it's because I don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not sure how to do this key because it's so big. This one feels more dangerous. No I don't think this is the right tool. Now it's stuck. Uh, uh, yes. fun though. Oh, look, that was lucky. I found it immediately. And I think I just press this on once I line up the bit in the middle and then I press down. Is that right? Okay, one is done. I can do the rest. If there's one missing, I'm going to be really mad. I do see how this could be quite therapeutic if you're doing this whilst watching a movie. As I said earlier, things are not going to go to plan, but for now I'm continuing on happily, oblivious to the problem I'm about to run into. I've noticed that the new keycaps, the profile of the keys is higher than the original one, so it will be interesting to do a typing test afterwards just to see how the taller profile keys type compared to the original ones. I do think that the quality, it feels like the original ones, the quality is much better, but we're doing this for the aesthetics. I love the gradient design of the keycaps, although I would have preferred more pink and purple keys and less blue keys. Over on Instagram, people suggested mixing some of the pink keys from the Red Dragon set into this one, which I thought was a great idea, but the font style on the keys are slightly different, so I wasn't sure how it would turn out. These keys here, see this FN, isn't going to fit on this one because this is a small key, like a regular key, and this one's wider, so... I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. I think I might have to get creative and use one of these spares. Okay, it's time to stop ignoring the space key and just get it over with. Am I supposed to do this? Like, use two at the same time? That did not sound good. I love how I'm just ignoring those problem keys that don't fit and carrying on anyways, since at this point I'm still optimistic. And eventually I get to the shift key, and here's when I realize the keycap set doesn't actually fit my keyboard. So here is another problem. This is clearly not going to work. Oh dear. I was hoping I could use a different key in its place, but nothing fits. And like a true optimist, I decided to tackle the other keys and come back to this one later. Since I'd come all this way, I thought I might as well try and finish it, but then I realized the entire last column is laid out differently and the whole thing turned into a Frankenstein, as you can see from the weird gradient pattern. <laughs> I'm getting desperate. I'm going to have to paint this one blue or something. <laughs> Did I say this was therapeutic? I changed my mind. Even these small ones don't fit. I'm hoping you guys don't notice. Can I just do this? There, I'm done. <laughs> I'm really desperate, there's nothing I can use. Okay, I give up. Ta-da! <laughs> I don't have a home key. 
The home key's here. Oh, that's home, is it? Print screen. <laughs> home. Page up. Page down. This all looks very nice. It's merging <laughs> very nicely. And then blah, blah, blah. So this is the finished product. This is the best I'm going to get it. This is largely all in the correct places. And these three are supposed to be Command, FN and Control. I'm pretty sure the issue is that I've purchased the wrong keycap set for the Vissels keyboard because I checked the other keycap set and you can see the shift key here is um, the same as the purple set and it fits the RK keyboard. So this is the large shift key. Whereas on the Vissos keyboard, the shift key is clearly smaller. So learn from my mistake guys and check your shift key before you start customizing your keyboard. I still think it looks pretty though, despite the odd white key. I did the same typing test with the new keycaps and it scored slightly worse compared to the original. And it also doesn't sound as nice, but I had fun doing the customization and I'm looking forward to using the pink keycaps on my other keyboard. So let me know if you're interested in seeing that video. Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel for more and check out my other videos in the meantime.